You know what I want? A fucking storyline mode, Valve. The now Blizzard, rather. Oh, Valve. Oh, speaking of Valve. The uh, Blizzard, not Valve. I apologize. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that kind of goes into the next topic, because Valve oh, they have recently announced a new game. I mean, everybody looks forward to the time <laughs> that Valve's going to announce a new game, and they're like, oh, it's going to be this game, or this game, or this game, with a three at the end of it. No, not this game. <laughs> <laughs> not this time. <laughs> so tell us about that. You want me to tell you about that, how Valve can't count to three? Okay, so it's one thing if you don't release, you know, one of the intended sequels that people are waiting to the nail for at this point in time. But when you take something like, uh, I don't know, massive, a MOBA, and then, I don't know, turn it into a card game, you might have problems. It's a bandwagon that a lot of um, a lot of stuff's jumped on. I'll admit to that. The card game thing phenomenon has kind of kicked off. You know, uh, Hearth, Hearthstone, Hearth, no Hearthstone, excuse me. Hearthstone's pretty damn good. I got to admit. I hate free to play games, but that's pretty damn good. And there's a few other ones as well. And this has become kind of a rising thing. That being said, um, my view on this is going to vary a lot more because I actually like to play card games on a table with physical cards. I enjoy tabletop gaming myself personally. So. The charm of it is a little lost on me. That being said, Gwent just got made into its own separate game. I remember playing Witcher 3 and playing that for like two hours and forgetting what game I was playing, so I could see the appeal of these games. But not with Dota 2, and not make that your big announcement like it's something big. Not to mention, they've shown nothing of the actual fucking game. It's all like just speculation and hocus pocus. Right, exactly. So, anybody that's wondering, they announced a game called Artifact, which is kind of going to be a digital card game, similar to Hearthstone or any of these other games. Maybe. Uh, but it's based on Dota 2. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some similarities. It's least. probably going to be some free-to-play shit. That's my guess. Oh, yeah, for sure, no doubt. I mean, Dota 2 is a free-to-play game, so but, it would only really make sense to... But there's speculation, because Gabe Newell said that the next game they were going to make internally was going to be a single-player game. So now people are really wondering, like, what the hell this is going to be, and will this actually have, will this actually be not what they expect, and actually be like a single-player like RPG with card mechanics or something. Well, they may be talking about their own internal studio. I think Dota 2 is actually made by another developer, and Valve just kind of bought them out or something like that. It is, and there's somebody attached to the pro the project. I can't remember the fucking name of the guy, but he left another like studio to work with Valve on this. So there's a lot of speculation in the air about this, but I will tell you this, the consensus for Artifact is not good. Yeah, uh, I mean, it could be a really good game, but... I. You know, anytime Valve announces something and it's not something that people's actually looking forward to, they're probably going to get it. <laughs> <What, three? clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Valve! <laughs> fucking... Uh, just make the fucking game already. We don't need advanced VR tech and hand gloves and bullshit you've seen in Tron to play Half-Life 3. Uh, yeah, no kidding. And again, they never even made Sin episodes too. So, <laughs> what the fuck am I waiting for at this point? Uh, wasn't that who made that? Valve. I think. Valve Sin. made Sin. Sin wasn't made by Valve. Sin picked up. Uh, Sin was picked up by Valve for episodic content through them, and they made Sin episodes uh, one, and then they never made the other ones to follow up on. Oh that. right, yeah. Well, that, that kind of goes. You know how that is. Uh, episodic games are not a good idea. If your game flops the first time. <laughs> or they're not good if you can't follow up. Valve. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. What, how many episodes did they make to Half-Life? Half-Life 2, what they do? Just episode 1 or did they make it to 2 and then stop dead in their tracks? Yeah, they did an episode 2. Episode 2 and I then think, they just uh, stopped. Yeah, I think the orange box came with both uh, the episodes yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah, the original yeah. Half-Life 2. And with Portal, which was... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Portal itself was amazing. That's that's the three I personally want is Portal Three because Portal Two is one of my favorite Valve games ever made. I would love to see a I'd love to see a follow up to Portal Two that concludes it and gives more gives like the rest of the story because people have figured out a lot of information from Portal One and Portal Two based on lots of like stuff lying around and the science project mm -hmm. thing they hint off as to who you're playing as. But I want that like conclusion just to be satisfied in that all my speculation was either completely right or completely fucking wrong, and I feel like an idiot. Plus, oh, I just yeah, want for sure. sort of that crazy ass mechanics, but I can understand why Portal Two took a long time to make. And Portal One, you got to remember, was just a game they threw into the orange box as quote unquote filler that was made by I think they were just students at a game development yeah. college. Or something yeah, like, like interns and stuff. Yeah, it was 
it was kind of like a yeah, just an extra. Like here, check this game out. It became the like reason to own. It became the reason to own the fucking orange box for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. 